Hello and welcome to the Way TV Charity Network. I'm Mary Crowley. You know, in January of 2014, the Way TV went to Park City's Utah to be part of the Sundance Film Festival. We had such an amazing time there. There were so many different films that were being screened and, and people that were there. And I interviewed so many different actresses and producers, directors, and even publicists. And you're going to hear and see some of those clips today. You're going to see that such an amazing group of people has come to Hollywood and be a part of the new renaissance that's taking place in film and part of what the Wade TV Charity Network is doing around the world. We're at the Echo Lounge here in Park City, Utah at the Sundance Film Festival, and I just heard an amazing two guys that just, they're, they're incredible. And they, they have a message. I was just hearing their stories and I'm really amazed. Can you tell your names? Because I can't remember these names. I've interviewed so many people today. Uh, my name is Hunter Beard, and I'm Katie Mack. And so, Ashley, you guys originally are from, from Little Rock, Arkansas, right? Little Rock, Arkansas, yes, ma'am. Okay, and so you're, you now both live in Los Angeles. That's correct. I, uh, Hermosa Beach area, Los Angeles, yeah. Okay, and so you were kind of telling me, do you mind telling me a little bit, bit about your story, about where you came from? Yeah, I won't go into detail, but... Um, you know, we, we came from a past that is checkered, to say the least, you know, and uh, music has given us a, a way out of that. And um, I'd like to think that, you know, it can show other people in our si same situations uh, that there's some after prison or your life after, you know, being a dope dealer, you know what I'm saying? It's what you actually said that you you have many many felonies and and now actually you're you're clean and you're out there and you're actually got a message of hope for people. Yeah, I do. I mean, I won't even like flick a cigarette out the window anymore. It's just I I've, I've gone. I don't know, man. I lost my conscience. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, if I can do it, literally anybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I can do it, anybody can do it. And so, and so now you're individual artists, but today when, in Sunday and she were actually performing together. Is that right? Yes, man. We often uh, perform together, but when we come together, it's Lion Pride. But opposite of that is just Katie Mack and Hunter Beard. We just we just headlined Troubadour Friday two days ago and just drove like pretty much left stage drive up here, having having a good time. But you said you also are working in uh, the production with different other artists. You said you were working with Cher. Yeah, we've done a, we've done a video with Cher. We've done a couple videos with uh, Timberlake. Yeah, we rock, so, rock hard films. Okay, so if you would say, like, maybe there's people watching and they want to become an artist, what, what would you say the main crux of your message is? Individually, I'll ask you both. Like, when you, when you rap or when you give your music, what do you want to, to really have people walk away from? Actually, is walk away from with an uh, understanding of when I do music, it's just a, like, it's like a, a mirror of where I'm from. But at the same time, it's showing that you can take adversity and build from it and make something out of it. Because in this life, even when we was in the street, there's no reward unless a risk is taken. So if you take a risk and try to do something positive, it's even more rewarding than doing something crazy. So I just, it's hope, you know, beacon of light, I guess. I'm trying to get my halo back, so <laughs> that's all I'm trying to Hey, I see it up there. Now, but you said that, that he helped you, your friend here actually helped you kind of come straight. Is that correct? Right. Well, back, a few years back, him and my late cousin was really tight making music, and I was kind of just running wild. And uh, when he passed, he had an opportunity to reach back home to get an artist, and out of all people, he got me. So it, it prompted uh, every other month flying to L.A., and it showed me coming out here, well, coming to L.A., that I could actually do something with this and not, you know, be stuck in this rut in Little Rock doing craziness when I could actually better myself. So I did that, and trying to continue to do that. Great. Well, you know, so just final comment here. What, what do you, how would you sum up your music, like individually? What would you say, would you say that your music represents or how would it affect people when they hear you? Music is my savior and uh, it's my talent. And it's like weird, I, I never like set out to be a white rapper. I just realized I could rap and I'm white, you know what I'm saying? So 
But, you know, I'll write like a country song. I've written, you know, many rock songs. And, uh, it's music saved my life. And um, I think it saved his life too. You know what I'm saying? It's well, and actually you were telling me because I was actually telling about sometimes I'll get downloads, messages, songs, because I've written songs. You were actually telling me about a song that you wrote that actually came very quickly and it actually inspired a lot of people. What was the name of that song? Uh, when You Come Home. They can, they can look it up on YouTube. And what's that song about? Uh, well, I wrote the song. It's quite an interesting story, actually. I wrote the song about my wife and I's time separated uh, when I was in the joint. And, um, and, I, and I realized as I was writing it, I added a few lyrics because I real, realized it was bigger than that, you know what I'm saying? And that, that everybody else could relate to that who spend time away from the... And, um, you know, it's kind of helped, like, army wives and stuff like that, and they they've, can really relate to that. And uh, so, yeah, I, that's one of the things I'm most proud of through music, I guess. How, how can they hear that sound at that song? Uh, just if, if they uh, Google Hunter Beard, if they look up Hunter Beard on YouTube, it'll come up. How do you spell the last name? Like a beard on your face. <laughs> not, not on your face, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Hunter Beard. Okay, great. And one final comment from you. What, what do you want people to walk away when they hear your music? What kind of hope or what kind of inspiration are you trying to project? Um, just to know that, you know, some, I look at Icarus sometime, you know, the story of Icarus and you know, in my mind, it makes me feel like they they want to tell you where you can't go, you can't do this, can't do that. Like as a kid, you were raised to to believe you could do anything, but then once you become a teenager, they tell you you can't do that, you can't do this. Well, my music is showing that if I can do this, the sky's the limit for anybody else. You know, I'm from the bottom, so I'm just taking the best of my abilities and a, a little luck, and you know, the talent I'm granted. And you know, music is therapy. And a so. lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah, hard work pays off. I mean, Sundance. You know what I'm saying? So, you can do it. I can do it. We all can do it. Yeah. So coming to you from Sundance, just knowing that they can do it, you can do it, we all can do it, because we're all going out. We just have to believe. Thank you for watching the Way TV Charity Network. Wasn't those some great interviews with? such talented actresses and musicians and you know there was producers and people that just want to make a difference in the media today you know if you have an event or a premiere or something that you would like the way tv charity to come and be a part of and let us know if you like the program or want to be a part of an up and coming event thanks for watching the way tv charity network and hope to see you soon